We want to take everybody over to a room that we have set up, a mock hotel room. We have put four cameras in there. They're hidden to show you how this can happen and hopefully to help us prevent this from happening to us. Security expert Chris Falkenberg is here with us. He is president of Inside Security. Good morning, Chris. Good morning, Megan. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. First of all, let me ask you about Aaron's case. How do you think the peeping Tom pulled it off? Well, I think the evidence which has developed so far that it occurred in multiple places throughout the country probably leads to someone who was traveling with her and was staying in an adjacent room. The type of camera is likely a pinhole camera, you're not dissimilar to this one, which has a very small uh, aperture and requires a very small hole in order to shoot video. All right, you have four cameras set up in this room. I know one of them, because the producer told me, is in this clock, which you would never know from looking at this. No, you, have a camera you, in it. You, you would never know. Cameras have become so miniaturized um, that it's easy to uh, secrete them into small, everyday, uh, everyday objects. So there's one camera there, and there's another camera here in this clock radio, oh my goodness. which gets power because it's already plugged in, and it's a normal-looking device which one would expect to find in a hotel room. Someone took a regular clock and put a camera in it, or they bought this specifically rigged clock? No, this is specifically rigged. Okay. You can buy these on the Internet, these oh. devices. There are a wide variety of devices which, um, uh, which have been modified to include cameras. I think one of the most dangerous is, uh, is a smoke detector camera, mm, mm -hmm. uh, because everybody, everyone expects to see a clock radio in a hotel room, but no one would ever suspect that a smoke detector, and this is a regular working smoke detector, which has simply been modified to have a camera installed. Um, so this is a camera, and this is a very dangerous sort of camera, because one can install numerous camera devices within that one fixture. And where's the last one? The last one is, um, where is our last Where's one? Where is the last one? Where is our oh, last one? Oh, just the, one, the, the, two, the pinhole, right? Three, four, yes. Oh, the pinhole that this, you could put anywhere exactly. is the point. And okay. one, one way in which you could use this camera is to place it within, oh, look at that. Uh, within a fla floral arrangement. And that's actually something that intelligence agencies have used for years to deliver flowers to somebody. And within the flowers is included either a microphone or a camera, although it's difficult uh, with the camera because mm -hmm. you have to aim it. But it would be incredibly easy to secrete this uh, into something you know, which goes in the room later. Uh, and to enable yeah. to get a, an easy shot. You're making me feel pretty helpless. Is well, there anything I can do? I think that there are two issues. The first, certainly if you're a public figure or if you're a victim of stalking or workplace or, or domestic violence and you have an idea that someone's keeping an eye on you, this whole thing could have been avoided if Aaron had said, all right, I'm uh, assigned to room 516, change my room immediately. I want to change my room okay. right, right away. But in the last 30 seconds, if you have no idea that you might be under surveillance, what can you do? You can do a pretty rigorous search of your hotel room or your new environment. So we have a regular smoke detector here on the wall to indicate that if you were doing surveillance, there'd be a second one here. There's mm -hmm. no room that has two smoke detectors. Okay. Okay, there's no room that would have a clock radio, which may be outdated. Uh, there is no reason for there to be holes in the wall at about the location from, from eye to hip, uh, which could potentially take a picture of you. There has to be something. It doesn't come out of nowhere. So having a really aggressive look towards where your privacy could be compromised, but also being cognizant of, of security features is the way in which when we deal with our clients who are public figures, mm -hmm. uh, we advise them and we help them to maintain the privacy of, of hotel rooms, offices, and their homes. Chris Falkenberg, thanks. Thanks so much. Thank you very much. We also want to thank the folks at Brickhouse Security for providing us with the hidden cameras and security devices.